I've always wanted to get in this room ever since I was a kid. Yesterday, while doing a clue scroll step, I saw a man in that very room and I had to know what that was all about. It turned out to be quite a large pile of nerdy bullshit. But don't worry, I'm gonna show you the only two steps of this crack the clue that you need to know to get the robes of ruin and the infinite money bag. And I'll also go into a bit more detail for some of the Iron Man players. Here are the 28 items you need in your inventory. I'm not going to waste your time and insult your intelligence by describing where to get every single thing on the list or we'd be here forever. I will however tell you how to make anything required and where to acquire a few odd things from my fellow Iron Men out there. You can buy everything on the Grand Exchange if you're a main account, with the exception of the poison fish food, so you'll have to combine poison and fish food yourself. Items shown in parentheses are raw materials for Iron Man to craft the items themselves. This next section is for my fellow DGENs out there. If you're playing an Iron Man account, you'll need at least 5 fishing, 30 cooking, 31 crafting, 27 magic, and 14 rune crafting. Combine your extra pie shell and red berry. Cook it in Lumbridge because this range is specifically better for pies for some reason. Yoink some silver from Artie, or mine it if you feel like it I suppose. Make two emerald amulets with two gold bars, two emeralds, amulet mold, and two balls of wool. Enchant one of them with one cosmic rune and three air runes. Combine one of your blue dyes with a red dye to make a purple dye. Make a fire and mine tiara by using a tiara mold on a furnace with a silver bar in your inventory, then using it on the respective altar with the respectable talisman. Go to Draenor Manor and get two fish food from upstairs and one poison from downstairs. Use the poison on one of the fish food. Why? Don't ask me. Ask this guy. For real. I want to know. Craft a cowl with some leather thread and a needle. Do not make a queef. I almost queefed. Beef here, rats here, sardines way the hell out here. Take the mini game telly to Soul Wars, go through Edgeville, or go to that sketchy basement in Ferox you've never been in to get here. This is where I like to kill my imps for beads. Don't ask me why, it's just a nice reason to come here that doesn't involve her. I'm pretty sure you can figure out the rest. When in doubt, check the Culinaromancer's chest. That was not supposed to rhyme. Now you're ready to teleport to Lumbridge, if you're not here already because you're bad at the game. Travel to the water altar in the Lumbridge swamps. This tile I marked is where you dig. As long as you have the 28 items I listed, you should get a clue prompt. It does not go into your inventory, not that you had room for it. After you've completed this step, head to Varrock West Bank. You can deposit all this useless crap and teleport there, or you can walk to Varrock and relive the traumatic memories of your childhood escapism. Up to you. Stop it. Get some help. Now all you have to do is perform these 17 emotes in this exact order. You can do it pretty slow, so no rush. Focus. Don't fuck us. Talk to the mysterious fogey that appears and loot the chests. You now have achieved what you always dreamed of as a child this sweet brass necklace. Also a sick set of robes and a bag of infinite money. Now go away.